So here's how you find the greatest common factor between 21 and 63. So the greatest common factor, sometimes you'll see it called the greatest common divisor or the highest common factor. These are all the same thing. So for the GCF, what we do, we find the factors of 21 and 63, look at the common factors, and then we just choose the greatest one. That's the GCF. So for 21, one times 21, that's 21. 3 times 7, that's 21, but that's it. For 63, we have 1 times 63. 3 times 21, that would equal 63. And then 7 times 9. So those are the factors for 63. So we have the factors. Let's see what's in common here. So 1, that goes into 21 and 63. That's a common factor. We have 3, that's also in common between 21 and 63. 7, yep. But the greatest common factor, that's 21 itself. So in answer to our question, the GCF for 21 and 63, that's going to be 21. There are other ways to do this, like prime factorization, but unless you have a pretty big number, this works well. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.